What's up travelers? In this video we're in the Georgetown district of Seattle and we are heading over to this amazing little sandwich shop and bar and it's going to be awesome so stick around. This is Taste and Travel. Welcome to the show. My name's Anthony Harding, and we are on a mission to 5,000 subscribers. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. We are currently sitting at 2,057 subscribers at the time of the recording of this video. So help us get up to 5,000, and let's get on with the video. We are here at this place called Marty Pants here in the Georgetown area of South Seattle. This place is an amazing little sandwich shop. An old girlfriend of mine introduced this to me about 15 years ago. I haven't been here in so long. I just had to come check this place out again. We're here now. We just ordered what they call the Taylor Street Italian sandwich and a cup of chili. I imagine it's gonna be absolutely fantastico. <laughs> Would you look at this sandwich? Oh my lord. Oh man, it smells so good. All right, so this food looks absolutely amazing. Let's get into it. But I think we gotta start with this chili. I mean, oh man, this chili. All kinds of meat and beans and cheese and all kinds of amazing stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's try it. Okay, now that's pretty unique. It's got a lot of the cumin flavor that you come to expect from a nice Texas chili. But then you kind of taste some cinnamon in there, which is kind of a, a, a unique a unique flavor that you're, you're going to find in a chili. You don't find it very often. But, oh yeah, that, that is very interesting, and I like it. Yeah, it's, it's even, it's kind of sweet for a, for a chili. It's, it's, it's really, really interesting. But, yeah, let's get into the sandwich. I mean, this thing. The bread's kind of soggy because of the vinegar and stuff that they put on it. But it's got kodo and, and genoa salami and ham and provolone and a whole bunch of veggies and stuff. Um, oil and vinegar. This is going to be fantastic. Oh yeah, they just absolutely nailed the flavors. This this brings me back to Florence and the sandwiches that I had there. Oh man, it is so so good. Mm. 
The only thing that it's missing is it's not on Florentine focaccia bread. If it was on Florentine focaccia bread, it would be a 12 out of 10. But this is a, this one's right and right up there. I am so happy I stopped here to make this video. So the price is here about average for the Seattle area. The sandwich was about $17. The, the chili was, I think, five bucks for the cup of chili. Um, so that's what you gotta expect to pay here up in, up in the Seattle area. The flavors make it worthwhile. Mm. But yeah, this place, the atmosphere here is really cool too. And it's just kind of a, a motorcycle uh, themed place, like a racing motorcycle theme. Uh, lots of cool stuff. They got some pretty cool t-shirts for sale. And they've even got this really cool loop-de-loop, -loop, the Evil Knievel loop-de-loop -loop that you can, you can pay a quarter and, and watch them just, watch the motorcycle just go woo! <laughs> Oh, man. Look at that. That is just great. That's the way chili's supposed to look. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going around filming my B-roll for this place. This uh, guy, Stefan, he uh, told me about this place down in the Lacey area. It's just southern, southern food. And they got, like, frog legs and... and uh, alligator po'boys and stuff like that so look for that in the near future so be sure to subscribe and we will go there and check some of that cool food out hello mortals it's me your favorite lord and savior jesus and I just wanted to take a short break from my very, very busy schedule of, uh, well, you know, miracles and uh, other Jesus duties up here to have a little divine intervention with you. You see, I wanted to tell you about a glorious YouTube channel called Tasting Travel. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, you could trust me. I like the most reputable person, well, ever. So, there's that. So be sure to give them a like and subscribe. And also, ring that notification bell so an angel can get its wings. Hallelujah. Now, I'd love to stick around and rain down blessings, but I'm kind of like the busiest messiah ever. And I need to get back to these mansions because they're definitely not going to build themselves. So you stay blessed, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Amen. Jesus. One thing's for sure about this sandwich is the acidity of that, you know, the vinegar that they use. It really, really lights it up. That's mm. so good. I think I want another one. I'm not going to get one, but I want another one. If you come here, I wouldn't recommend getting this sandwich to go. Definitely eat it here. That bread isn't going to last in a to-go box or a to-go bag or whatnot. It's barely lasting here, but oh my god, worth every soggy by it so I will leave a link in the description to their website and you got to come check this place out that's all I got to say you definitely got to come check this place out so remember help us out on our mission to 5,000 subscribers like subscribe hit that notification bell and as always eat great food